my concern really is the, the public is being, frankly, somewhat misled. Drug possession is becoming recriminalized in Oregon today. Governor Tina Kotek signed a House bill that makes hard drug possession punishable with jail time. The new law also allows offenders to avoid jail time if they go into treatment, but there are some major concerns about how it will roll out. K2's Barry M Mangold spoke with police and public defenders and his life worse in Northeast Portland tonight. Barry. Yeah, Deb, starting September 1st, anyone who's caught with hard drugs could be arrested and face up to 180 days in jail. That being said, the Portland Police Union says that they will be able to do more to address public drug use under this new law. However, the governor said it herself, this is going to take a lot more work. With Governor Kotek's signature now on House Bill 4002, Oregon is preparing to recriminalize the possession of hard drugs as a misdemeanor. But one glaring obstacle, the state's shortage of public defenders who will inevitably take on more cases when the law goes into effect. I believe as of now there are um, over 2,800 people in this state who have pending cases but do not have an attorney on their case because of the shortage. Grant Hartley is the director of the Multnomah County Office of Metropolitan Public Defenders. Despite the state committing millions to help bolster the public defender system, Hartley says Oregon needs as many as 1,300 more public defenders. Among the more than 2,800 unrepresented defendants, many are charged with felonies. There's still not enough public defenders for felonies right now. Is that right? Exactly, yeah. I, I think um, about half of the unrepresented throughout the state are felonies. And so here in Multnomah County, um, we can't cover, we don't have enough public defenders to handle all of the felony cases that are coming through, um, let alone misdemeanors. Kotek acknowledging the shortage in a statement after signing the drug recriminalization law. She said building up the state's deflection programs, which allow offenders to enter treatment instead of facing prosecution, must be prioritized. Writing in part, quote, Courts, Oregon State Police, local law enforcement, defense attorneys, district attorneys, and local behavioral health providers are all critical to these conversations. Under Measure 110, we could not abate those disruptions. Now we can. The president of the Portland Police Union says adding teeth to state drug laws will allow officers to address public drug use more effectively. Whether officers take offenders to jail or to a treatment center will depend on everyone involved coordinating in real time. The relationship between, between providers and law enforcement is the pathway forward, and if it doesn't exist, if people don't want to work together, this won't work. Now the race is on to make sure that there are treatment centers available to make sure users have the option to seek help to avoid jail time. Hartley says those facilities are sorely needed. My concern really is the, the public is being frankly somewhat misled yeah. because they are being told that it's going to be services before jail but when there are no services the only result is jail and one thing to keep in mind when it comes to treatment centers multnomah county right now is planning to build and open its own detox center by late 2025 we have more on that story up on our website live in north portland barry mangold k2 news barry thank you